in this lesson, we'll now proceed to improving already existing content that can be optimized in order to really increase your rankings. And to do that in the most efficient way, you need to have a clear and complete action list. And the on-page SEO checker can help you with just that. This tool provides you with ideas of how to modify pages that bring you traffic, but have the most potential to rank higher in search results with just a few minor adjustments. Not only will you receive recommendations for on-page SEO, but you'll also get suggestions on what semantically related words to add to your content, what content length and readability to adhere to, and find backlink prospects. These ideas and recommendations are based on the top 10 competitors for each of your target keywords. Let's configure the tool. First, select your target location. Choose wisely because you won't be able to change the target location once you are in the campaign. Then, the tool will automatically recommend to import the pages and keywords from the organic research report and the position tracking tool. Alternatively, you can add the pages and keywords you want to study. You can do this manually one by one from a previously created CSV file or from your Google Search Console account. To be able to import the pages and keywords from your Google Search Console account, you need to connect it. Thus, SEMrush will be able to provide you with the page suggestions based on clicks, impressions, and click-through rate. When importing from SEMrush Organic Research, you can adjust your pages list by applying filter by position, volume, and keywords number, as well as presence or absence of specific words. This will give you the possibility to filter the pages by these parameters. At the second step, you'll be asked to choose a user agent name to crawl your website. It can be either an SEMrush bot or a Google bot. Finally, you can schedule crawls to recollect ideas. On the overview page, you'll see a donut chart with the total number of ideas broken down by seven categories. These ideas fall under the following recommendations. How to implement your keywords in your text properly, how to semantically enrich your content with other keywords from a similar topic, how long your pieces of content should be, where to get good backlinks from, which of your landing pages are to be optimized first for your keywords, what actions to take in order to obtain SERP results, how to get rid of technical issues that might affect your page's rankings, and if you connect your GA account, how to optimize UX or user experience. Remember, SEO is all about user experience, so if your users aren't having a good experience on your page, you are less likely to rank high. To find out more about each bunch of ideas and how it can help, just hover on the corresponding ideas icon. Below the summary graph, you can find a bar chart comparing your current and potential traffic. The estimation of organic traffic that can be brought to your site provided that your URLs ranked one organically for every keyword within the campaign. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a table with a prioritized list of pages to optimize. The priority is based on the number of ideas for a specific page the amount of traffic the implementation of these ideas can bring, and the ease of the implementation. The pages with the highest priority are at the top of the list with three solid yellow bars, while the lower priority pages have one or even no yellow bars. Prioritization is needed to help you concentrate on the most urgent and important things first. Click View All Pages and Ideas, and you'll be sent to the Optimization Ideas tab, where all the tool suggestions are listed. They're grouped by your landing pages and sorted by priority by default. Take a closer look at the column with a drop-down list. You can select a specific category to see the ideas referring to this category. Choose the page you want to optimize first and click the green button with the number of ideas. Here's the full list of ideas specific for this page grouped by categories. If you're unaware of what a certain idea is all about, click Why should I do this in the third column. And if you want to find out what competitive data was analyzed by the tool to provide you with a suggestion, follow through to the detailed analysis report. To learn from the best is an opportunity not to be missed. That's why it's so important to find out what your top competitors are doing with their websites. The top 10 benchmarking is the place where you can learn much about the strategy in order to adopt their best practices. Your rivals for each keyword you've set up for your campaign will be analyzed in terms of seven parameters average content length across your competitors, the number of referring domains, use of video, keyword usage in the title, header, body, and meta tags, ordered lists which increase the chance of winning a featured snippet, markups like schema.org and their item types, 
For instance, product, event, organization, etc. And readability, which is only available for content in English, German, French, Spanish, Italian, and Dutch. Click View Full Analysis if you want to look thoroughly at the direct comparison between your competitors' snippets and yours. Below every snippet, you'll see the same seven parameters at a glance. This is the data you can rely on when creating new or updating existing content. The Idea Tasks report is where you can track the progress of your SEO improvements. You'll see the graph with bars that measure your estimated organic traffic and a trend line that shows the number of the tool's ideas over time. Alternatively, you can set the bar chart to show the number of keywords or the number of pages analyzed by on-page SEO checker. In the table below, you can see all the ideas and most importantly, monitor which of them are already implemented and which are not yet. As you put an idea into effect, it moves from the to-do to the done list. Click the PDF button to create a report on your proceedings. You can also email and schedule your report or brand it by adding your logo and contact information. Remember that you can rerun your campaign or add more pages and keywords for analysis at any time. Then, if for some reason the bot you've chosen doesn't have access to all of your pages, you could try another one. If you use Trello, you can export your tasks there directly from the SEMrush interface. Let's wrap it up. In this lesson, we went over on-page SEO checker, which provides you with suggestions on how to really improve the performance of your web pages. Remember that practice makes perfect. So try using the on-page SEO checker to get recommendations for your pages. Go to the read further section to continue studying and also be sure to visit our blog and knowledge base for more information.